Welcome to the presentation 5 Steps to Start E-Learning in Your Organization. According to Workforce.com, 73% of global Fortune 500 companies are using online methods to train their employees. And E-Learning.com says that 77% of American firms are already using E-Learning. The above statistics depicts trends in e-learning adoption in the corporate sector. However, some corporate organizations haven't yet adopted e-learning as a part of their training practice. There may be many reasons to it. But a few of them as we understand is that most of them are unaware of the process of initiating e-learning and the steps that are involved in starting e-learning in organizations. So in the coming slides I will be sharing those steps. What are the steps involved to initiate e-learning in organizations and how to implement it? Here are the five steps to initiate e-learning in your organization. 1. Analyze the need for e-learning. Examine your learner's readiness. 3. Evaluate the infrastructure requirements. 4. Assess the content readiness. 5. Decide on the implementation strategy. Let us see each one of them in detail. The first and foremost factor you need to consider is the needs analysis. Analyze the training being done, and which of those trainings can be conducted online. Examine whether e-learning is a suitable delivery format for such trainings. Can the gaps be bridged through e-learning? Next, to check your learner's readiness, ask the following questions to yourself. Will the learner really be able to learn anything on a computer? What might be the typical reactions of the learners? People's reactions can also be assessed based on their fears and apprehensions about this new mode of delivery of training. Now let's look at what it takes to deliver e-learning. To be able to deliver e-learning, you need to establish a complete e-learning system with a robust technology framework. It includes two sets of infrastructure hardware and software. The first set of infrastructure solution is hardware, it includes network, hardware components, communication processes, services, and it protocols. This includes servers, switches, routers, hardware, firewalls, etc. Learners access the network through a local network server by using a secure authentication. The second set of infrastructure solution is the software platform, the Learning Management System or LMS. An LMS is a software package that enables the management and delivery of online and instructor-led training content to learners. Next, let us see the content readiness. To assess the content readiness ask yourself the following questions, how much classroom material is available? In what formats is it available? Are they like PowerPoint decks, facilitator guides, participant handouts, even filled in charts paper? Are your SMEs willing to generate content? If yes, Convert existing ILT training material into e-learning if no, consider off-the-shelf or catalog content to start with. The next aspect to be considered is to decide on the implementation strategy. Here are the points to check out before deciding on the implementation strategy, get the real picture of the current training related cost demonstrate tangible ways in which e-learning can help identify those parts of your strategy that lead to an effective ROI show the business impact to get top management's buy-in. For corporate organizations that haven't yet adopted e-learning, one of the reasons for it might be that they are unaware of the process. Here are the five steps that will help them get started with it. 1. Analyze the need for e-learning. Examine your learner's readiness. 3. Evaluate the infrastructure requirements. 4. Assess the content readiness. 5. Decide on the implementation strategy. To read articles on similar topics, please visit blog.com. Thank you.